next eight years, 1.3 million jobs will be created in the high-tech sector. The, the whole uh, area of intelligent sensors is just going to uh, be an area of explosive growth. You know, the uh, international market is measured in billions now, but it's estimated to rise to trillions in the years ahead. Sensor technology is the little sensors that you have in all of your electronic devices. There's sensors in your cell phone, and those sensors communicate between each other and also aid communication between other devices as well. Sensors can have much more than seven senses. It's some sort of device that can detect a particular chemical, temperature, pressure, blood sugar, the smart ones will communicate to you and to other machines. In the future, we are creating devices, and the Internet of Things will be our devices communicating amongst themselves. Orlando and Florida, for many reasons, kind of missed out on the first big round of manufacturing growth and development. And the next generation of manufacturing won't be heavy industry manufacturing, but it'll be advanced manufacturing where the, the much of the product that'll come out of these industries will be shipped in the belly of an airplane. The U.S. does wonderful things with new inventions, new discoveries, and so forth, but they seem to be manufactured somewhere else. We cannot compete in manufacturing by polluting our air more or working cheaper. What we can do is work smarter. In simple terms, it's the development of an advanced manufacturing research center that will serve as a magnet to attract and grow advanced manufacturing smart sensor developments over time. And we want to try and position Central Florida and the state of Florida to, to capitalize on those opportunities. Austin, Texas is a technology mecca. From the 80s on, from the 1980s on, uh, really worked in consistent and collaborative ways to develop their IT industry. And they put the kinds of resources into developing the talent pool to support that. It paid huge dividends with billions of dollars in uh, capital investment and very high quality jobs and highly educated people moving to the region uh, to the point that they're now considered one of the tech hotspots. Once Semitech was established here as a hub for semiconductor industry development and innovation, a lot of the supply chain moved here. The products we build uh, for our customers are uh, sensors for security and defense, novel medical devices and DNA sequencing, genomic sequencing devices for life sciences. There's a lot of unique opportunities for women in this industry because there aren't very many. There's a lot of educational uh, opportunities and benefits here because of the high-tech industry that has been well ingrained into Austin. The economic impact in Austin is in the billions. Every major technology company in the world has got something. If they're not manufacturing, they're distributing, or whatever. It was a public-private partnership that provided some infrastructure and a close coupling with their university to change the economy of that region. I think it's a relatively healthy city. It has a lot of parks and environment for recreation. Uh, as the city has grown up, it's one of the best venues for live music, and so that's attractive to young engineers. There's been a lot of investment in, in the city for uh, performing arts and, and fine arts. And that's just been a great quality of life. And it's continued to improve over the past 20 years. I get for a million. One of the slogans here is keep Austin weird. And that's kind of that 60s, 70s element. But it's really evolved into quite a metropolitan city. Their economy expanded at such a rapid pace. We visited Austin and saw what happened and how it happened. It's really a, an amazing story. All of the areas that are going to be very important in the area of manufacturing uh, are things that uh, our faculty members are really good at already. Uh, optics and photonics, nanotechnology. The Florida Advanced Manufacturing Research Center will be located on East 192, about two miles west of exit 244 of the Turnpike. It's about building the, the most advanced manufacturing development lab slash fabrication facility potentially in the world. 
out in Osceola County, outside of Kissimmee. Not far from I-4 and close to our airport. Which is going to serve as the bridge that will, that will allow us to cross this valley of death, we call it, between the academic researchers within universities and industrial partners, which will be making high-tech devices for the commercial market. What we're trying to do in this lab is to try to make a single laser device that can produce hundreds or thousands of colors from a single device. This way we'd be able to increase the information carrying capacity through a fiber optic connection. The technology is at the point where we're able to demonstrate very, very unique functionality and capabilities within the research environment. But universities are really not in the position to do mass manufacturing. Right now we have some significant regional partnerships uh, with the high-tech corridor, with the universities across the state, of course with Osceola. We needed to do something to, to change the economic condition of Osceola County. We've been an agrarian and tourism-based industry. We can begin to shift that dynamic and try and move ourselves away from a bedroom community to a community that has a complete lifestyle. And it goes back to the 20,000 high-paying jobs, technical jobs, and the 80,000 indirect jobs. Not all of them will be for masters and doctoral level people. That's one of the great things about manufacturing is it covers a, a breadth uh, of uh, talent levels, degree levels, uh, and it offers uh, really great jobs. The impact to that in terms of employment is as large as Disney World and is on par with what Medical City has done so far, what Medical City will be. It works to stimulate robust uh, economic development. And if we can do that here, and I believe we can, all we need is the funding. We've got an opportunity to have uh, another Austin miracle, if you will, but in Orlando, Florida.